Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I believe we have over 40 items to ship out today and over a thousand dollars in sales. So things have been selling. There's been a lot of activity on Poshmark. I have been a little bit under the weather. So I've basically just been at home listing my heart out. And this really is proof that the more you list the more you sell if it's not listed it's not selling so just let this serve as some motivation for you guys to get your death pile listed a lot of this i've just had and i've been meaning to list and i finally got around to it and a lot of it sold very quickly so i'm so excited about that let's go ahead and jump into it our very first sale is the only piece from my men's closet to sell. It is a Land's In 100% cashmere size large turtleneck sweater. When I first picked this up, I did not know it was a men's piece, but I think it had a style number on the inside tag, which I plugged into Google. And a man wearing this sweater popped up as a stock photo, so I did go ahead and list it in my men's closet. I think it just had like kind of a broader cut at the shoulders. I did list it for 40. It probably retailed for around a hundred. And I would say after maybe like two or three weeks of being listed, I got a $34 offer. So only $6 off asking. I was very happy with that. I did accept that made my earnings. $27.20. I paid $2.25, so my net profit was right around $25 on the sweater, which I'm happy with. Um, I do have a totally separate men's closet. You guys asked me about it. I did have to um, send an email to Poshmark and ask permission to open up that closet because you aren't allowed to have more than one Poshmark closet. And unless you get written permission, which I did. So I have heard of them rejecting. Like if you ask if you can open a second closet, I have heard people say that they reject uh, that, which I'm not sure why they would. But yeah, so anyways, um, if you do want to open a separate closet, you do have to email. And um, I highly recommend it. I do enjoy having it separated. It just, you know, feels a little more... Uh, the two closets feel a little more cohesive in and of themselves. I, d I didn't really like the clutter. Also, in my women's closet, when someone would go in and make a bundle of women's items, they would tend to just kind of throw in a men's item and then get that for free almost. But with my men's closet, each item sells on its own. Typically, I don't ever have bundles over there, and they do sell for quite a bit. I think my average sales price in my men's closet is like 30 or $35. So uh, I am very happy to have them separated. Okay, moving on. We're getting into women's now. We have this little Lulu's bodysuit, just a basic closet staple. It's a stretch jersey knit, very soft, very comfy. I actually picked this up for myself, hoping that it would fit but it is a size medium, so it was just a little bit big. So I went ahead and listed it. I probably would not have grabbed this uh, otherwise, you know, to resell just because I knew that it would not sell for much. But since I already had it, I did go ahead and list it at $18. It probably retailed for maybe like 30-ish max. So I listed it at 18. It was in excellent condition. And after a week or so, I got an offer for 12, which I went ahead and took. I thought that was pretty great. My earnings were nine and my net profit was around $7. So, you know, if it would have worked out for me, that would have been great. But instead I made a $7 profit on it, which I could not be happier with. Okay, moving on, we have a a midi length dress from J Crew. This is from J Crew Outlet. It's a size large. This is a little bit newer from 2019 or 2020. It has an all over daisy print, a smocked chest and back, kind of a puff sleeve. Really cute. 
This is a quintessential spring dress. Because it is a midi length and because it was newer, excellent condition, size large, for all of those reasons, I did go ahead and list it just a bit higher at $38. Within, I would say a couple weeks, I received a $24 offer, which I did go ahead and counter to $30. And now it's countered back to 28, which I did accept. So my original list price was 38, and I ended up accepting a counter of 28. That made my earnings $22.40. I grabbed this from the bins. It does have a little bit of weight to it just because it's like a lot of material. So I probably probably paid a couple dollars for it, which means my net profit ended up being right at $20. So for something in the door, out the door, I'm happy with that. Moving on. We have a little romper. This is from Lulu's. I have had this now for quite a while. I'd say six to nine months. It does have the cold shoulder, which is a style that is kind of going out the door, if not already out the door. Um, I would, I guess it's not technically cold shoulder because it, it just has the straps. But I think like if you're wearing a sweater, and your shoulders are exposed that's like outdated this kind of thing you know is still you can still get away with it it's still cute i would say for sure especially on like a spring summer kind of romper like this but you know with that trend kind of dying out i did want to move this especially because like i said i have had it for a while so even though it was listed at 32 and i got a 15 dollars offer I did accept that. I did want to move it, just get it out the door. My earnings were 12. I picked this up from the bins. It's super lightweight, so I probably only paid about a dollar for it. And so my net profit was $11. So I'm happy with that. I, uh, you know, love to recoup not only my initial investment, but get a small profit back on items that have been sitting for a while and then reinvest that money into new inventory that I'm more confident in, that will sell faster, and that is more with the current trends. Okay, we have a three item bundle, all, or no, this one's a romper. Or is this, yeah, this is a romper. The other two are dresses. So this is a new attacked ASOS romper in a size six. I grabbed this, I don't always get ASOS, but this had quite a bit going for it. It's new, obviously. It has a leopard print, it's a romper. Rompers and jumpsuits sell very well for me. Second dress, or second piece, is this Privacy Please dress. This is a brand that is sold on Revolve. Again, you kind of have that cold shoulder style to it. And this I've also had, I would say for six to nine months. I picked it up at the bins quite a while ago. So I was happy to move that this piece out as well. And lastly is this Helmet Lang little black dress with a cutout in back and manufactured distressing at the sleeves. This dress I have had, I would say maybe two or three weeks now. So pretty quick sale here. The ASOS Leopard Romper I've had for probably four months, roundabout. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $96. That does include my automatic 15% off discount of three items or more that I give just as a across the board in my closet. So the $96 does reflect that. And I was offered 60. Even though that is a bit lower than the already discounted bundle price, I did want to go ahead and accept that because again, same kind of thing with that cold shoulder dress that I have had, it's been sitting. Uh, and also the ASOS romper I have had for a little bit as well. 
So I accepted 60, my earnings were 48. I paid around $5.50 for everything. And so my net profit came out to $42.50. I know some resellers really like to kind of squeak out every penny that they think they can make on every sale, which is not a bad tactic, but in my experience, I would rather just take the offer and move on because everything kind of works out, even though, you know, those might have sold for a little bit less than they could have if I had waited another six months or nine months for them to sell. The newer inventory that I have coming in that's selling fast, a lot of the times sells for a really good price point, a decent price point, like $35, $40. So it all kind of evens out. Again, I would rather just take that lesser profit and invest it into newer stuff that is going to sell uh, more quickly and for a higher price. Okay, next we have a really cute little pair of espadrilles. These are from the brand Saludos, which I like to find at the outlets. I would say it's a pretty good bread and butter shoe brand. I, I wouldn't have paid like six to eight dollars for these at regular Goodwill uh, just because they typically don't sell for too much. I listed these at 28. Someone liked them and so I sent a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted making my earnings $17.02 and my net profit right around $15 on these shoes. So I'm happy with that. $15 is a great little profit. And you know, they were in the door, out the door. They had really cute embroidered pineapples on them, so I for sure wanted to grab them with the changing weather. How cute would these be worn at the beach? What do you guys think about my shirt? I just thrifted this and it's definitely my new favorite shirt. It says, please tell your dog I said hi. So cute. Okay, anyways, we have a poncho here. This is by the brand Lori Felt, Los Angeles. I hadn't heard of it, but this was sold via QVC. It's a linen blend, really cool kind of like bat wing kimono ruffled sleeves. It's a size 2X, 3X, and it had no flaws. So I knew for a fact this would sell quickly, and it did within just a day or two of being listed. I did add a ton of keywords into this, like coastal grandma, beachy, lag and look, uh, boho, contemporary, minimalist. This covers so many different kind of style categories. I listed it at 35 and I received an offer of 24, which I did counter back to 32. That was countered back to 27 and then I countered to 29, which that was accepted. I didn't want to accept any less than like 30-ish for this because it is a pretty substantial piece. So I was happy that my $29 counter was accepted. If that had been, you know, countered again, I would have declined just because um, I was so confident that this would be a, you know, this would sell, if not to this buyer, to someone else. And also because it was so newly listed. So I know you guys have told me in the past that you get kind of anxious about countering offers, but you really just kind of have to look at the big picture. When did you list it? Was it uh, very recently? And if so, does it have a lot of likes accumulating? Is it getting a lot of traffic and eyes on it? And if it is, I would definitely say go ahead and counter and feel confident in it. You know, even if it doesn't work out with that buyer, it's most likely going to work out with someone else. So, yeah, 29 was accepted. That made my earnings $23.20 and my net profit $21 on that kimono. Okay, another kind of similar piece. It's like a 
wrap cardigan kimono. This is from Soft Surroundings. It's 100% linen. It has this really artsy, boho, kind of abstract print to it. This is very high quality. It's made in India, and it's just a really unique, nice, interesting piece. Again, lots of keywords went into this. This sold within like a couple hours of being listed. I listed at 45 and received an offer of 40, which I did accept. That was super fair. My earnings were 32 and my net profit was right around $30. So this is the kind of inventory that I'm talking about that I want to move those uh, slower selling items out and just recoup my investment with a small profit so that I can invest in items like these that are going to fly out the door for a great price. A good keyword for this uh, piece is art to wear. Art to wear, art and then T-O wear. A lot of people search that because you know they like that artsy look, they like wearing it, hence art to wear. Also lag and look because it's linen and it's great for layering. Okay, moving on, we have another pair of shoes. Also another pair of espadrilles. So I would highly recommend you guys get your spring summer shoes listed. Get those espadrilles, sandals, wedges listed. People are on the hunt. I think right around this time of year, uh, people get maybe like, what's the word, overzealous or enthusiastic about the thought of the weather warming up and being able to kind of transition their wardrobe. So maybe it's still a little bit chilly where they are but they are turning online to start shopping because they're just so excited about you know buying new stuff for new seasons and thinking ahead i think a lot of people uh that's kind of like a mood booster for them i me included honestly so now is a great time to get your transitional weather stuff listed because people are on the hunt. So I listed these splendid espadrilles. They were really cute. They had like a cotton candy kind of fabric upper. Listed them at 35. Within just a couple days, I received a $25 offer, which I did counter to 28. And that was accepted. So my earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was right around $20. Again, I was confident countering the offer because those were very newly listed. They were in excellent condition. They looked practically brand new. They had a very trendy, cute kind of, you know, pastel color theme going on, which again is very true to the season. And they just had a lot going for them. Okay, next we have a J. Crew factory button down shirt. I think I mentioned when I showed this in the haul that I definitely don't always get J. Crew factory because it does retail for less than the main line. However, like I've been mentioning, this has a pineapple print to it which is very peachy and boho, great for the season. So I did get this. It was also size large, also in excellent condition. And so with all of those factors in mind, I definitely grabbed it. I listed at 30. Someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $27 offer with discount ship. That was counter to 20. And then I did counter it back to 22. Uh, that does seem like kind of a low counter. However, J. Crew button down tops do sometimes tend to sit for me. 
And so I wanted to make it kind of an enticing counter offer. I also grabbed this from the bins, and so I only paid about a dollar for it. So when my $22 counter offer was accepted, my net profit still came out to around $17. So I had no problem with that. I think that's a great return for a kind of bread and butter bins pickup. Next we have a dress. Now, uh, in contrast, this is from the J. Crew main house line. It's also a newer piece. It's a size 20. Also very substantial. It has this surplice chest with buttons going down the skirt portion. It's a midi length, really nice neutral navy color. And with it being 100% cotton, again, this is great for the weather. I feel like I always sound like a broken record in these videos, but I think it is a really important point to kind of drill home because those are all the factors that go into something selling better than something else. So anyways, I listed this dress at $45. Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, and so my earnings were $29.02. My net profit was $26.77. I did find this dress at my Family Thrift Center outlet here in Houston, so I paid $2.25. So yeah, right around a $27 profit. I'm super happy with that. And it's going to Austin, Texas, which is exciting. If you guys don't know, I'm here in Houston. And I do love Austin. If you've never been to the Austin bins, but you live in like the surrounding area, I would highly recommend them. They have some of the best Goodwill outlets uh, ever. I mean, I've only been to Goodwill outlets in Texas, so I really can't say that. But there's just everything you find at the Austin bins is it's very artsy, a lot of embroidery, a lot of art to wear and just really cool, funky, unique pieces. OK, next we have a blouse from Lucky Brand. This is a pretty plain top, but I did decide to get it because it is a size extra large and it had no flaws. It also has just a very boho kind of style to it with the open or loose knit crochet at the shoulders and down the little button front. So I listed this at 28 and someone liked it so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted so my earnings were 17 and my net profit was around $15 on this top. It also sold incredibly fast within, I would say like a week to a week and a half of being listed. So that was great. All righty. I think I'm going to package up, let's see, two more items. Yeah, and then run down to the post office and then I will be back to finish packing. Okay, so next we have a very exciting sale. This is a genuine leather gray trench coat. It buttons down in front, still has the waist tie attached. It has pockets. This thing is gorgeous. Again, I found this at my Family Thrift Center outlet for $2.25. I could not believe it. It's such high quality, made in Canada, and the leather is just really thick and buttery and nice. I mean, if you were to purchase this at Zara or uh, Aritzia, I'm sure it would be $1,000, if not more. 
So I'm just going to kind of loosely wrap this. I don't want to wrap it too tight just because I don't want it to sit. Uh, I don't want to confine it too much, I guess you'd say. I have my box number seven, which I package all of my larger items in. I just line the bottom with a piece of paper and then I'm just going to kind of gently set the jacket in and I will add a piece of paper on top. Then I will throw on a thank you sticker and seal it up. So this is what it looks like when the buyer opens the box. So for this jacket, I listed at $125 and after just a couple days of being listed, I received a $100 offer, which I did accept. That made my earnings 80 and my net profit $77.75 on this jacket, which I'm so happy with. That's such a great return. I hope she loves it. It is a gorgeous piece. I mean, that will last forever. It's timeless. It will never go out of style. So I'm so excited I was able to find that and find it a new home. I think that's a win-win for both buyer and me. Great return for me, but you know, a hundred dollars. It's a great price for a genuine leather trench coat. Okay. Our last piece before I run down to the post office is this little nineties Y2K style, very flowy romper in a ditzy floral print. So if you find a little uh, vintage piece that has kind of a smaller floral print. You do want to add in ditzy floral. That's uh, those are good keywords that people search. A lot of like the Depop kind of girlies will search out stuff with those keywords uh, because it is just a very true to the 90s print. I probably also added grunge, boho, beachy as keywords. So I listed this at 32 and someone liked it. So I sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship that was accepted. And so my earnings were $19.42 and my net profit came out to right around $17 on this romper, which I'm pretty ecstatic about. Okay. So I'm going to package all of these up in my Ikea bags, run down, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from the post office. It's actually quite a bit later. I took a break in between filming to clean some shoes and photo a bunch of accessories while it was still sunny outside. I do like to take all my photos with natural lighting. So let's go ahead and jump back into it now. Next, we have a two piece bundle. First off is this 100% linen artisan NY button down shirt. I thought this was cute, very kind of minimalist contemporary with the stripe print. It also has a very earthy like wood, faux wood buttons. Second and last is this open knit crochet duster cardigan from Altered State in a size small medium. Anytime I find stuff like this, I just kind of toss it into my cart and then I will put it on my mannequin, swivel it around and take pictures of all angles and list it very quickly. I don't typically take measurements for items that I photo on my mannequin just because you can kind of gauge how it fits from the pictures and so I save time with that. I also don't typically find stock photos and so uh, you know it's very minimal amount of time to list that kind of stuff which is great because time is money and any time you can save is fantastic. So when the two of these were added together the bundle price came out to $56 and I was offered 36, which I did accept. That made my earnings $28 and 80 cents and my net profit $24 and 30 cents. 
Okay, moving on. An excellent sale here. So excited about this. I just featured this in a haul video. It's Smart Wool, which makes a lot of 100% merino wool base layer pieces. Uh, this I found at the bins. It's very lightweight. I probably paid about a dollar for it. It was in an older bin. I thought because it had flaws, you know, a lot of the time with merino wool, cashmere, and more delicate fabrics, you will get small holes or pilling. But this was flawless. I listed over about 10 times. And so, yeah, so excited. It sold within an hour of being listed, maybe even within 30 minutes of being listed. I listed at $55. It retails for around $100, and this brand, Smart Wool, does retain its retail value pretty well. So, yeah, I listed at $55, and again, within a very short amount of time, I was offered $45, which I accepted. That made my earnings $36, and my net profit around $35 for this little quarter zip pullover. So, uh, I mentioned it when I showed this, but Smart Wool, Icebreaker, Ibex, those are all brands that make merino wool pieces and they all sell, I would say equally as, they all sell equally very well. <laughs> we'll say that. Okay, next we have a dress from Anthropology. This is adorable. It has so many details to it, like a patchwork design tassels, mixed floral prints, very peasant, boho, cottage core almost, just very cool. This is from the sub-brand Scene Worn Kept, which I had never found before, so that was kind of exciting. I've been reselling for uh, five, over five years now, and I've never found uh, this sub-brand, so yeah, that was something to check off my list. I listed this dress at $58 just because it had so much going for it. It's called the Leavenworth dress. And I would say after maybe two or three weeks of being listed, I uh, someone liked the dress and so my Posture VA automatically sent them out a $52 offer with discount shipping that is 10% off the list price. And they did counter it to 28, which I countered back to 32. And then they just went silent for a couple hours. And so I did match her offer of 28. And so basically it just resends her that offer. It says like, hey, we saw you offered 28. Uh, the buyer will take that if you still want to do that. And she accepted. So my earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was $20. I probably could have gotten a little bit more for that. It did have a small flaw and I was selling, I was having a lot of sales. So I just kind of wanted to keep the ball rolling and that's kind of how I used that dress was to just keep things moving and it worked because I had several sales after that. So next we have this Levi's denim vest. This is an older piece. I think it's from the 90s. I did add both 90s and Y2K as uh, keywords. And I listed this at 32. Someone liked it. So again, I sent them a $28 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $19.42 and my net profit right around $17 on this top. This was definitely kind of out of the box for me. I didn't really know how to list this, mainly because I don't really find... This was like vintage, but it wasn't really quirky or anything. It didn't really... Usually when I find vintage, it has... It's kind of like a attention grabbing piece for whatever reason, but this was just kind of like a closet staple vintage piece. So I just went ahead and listed at 32. I thought that was kind of a good price point and it seems like it worked out well. Okay, moving on, we have a pair of pajamas here. So cute. These are from the brand Kate Spade. These were also a very fast sale. I just 
showed these in my bins haul video. I was so happy to find both pieces in the bin. They are so soft. They're a modal blend, which is like the softest fabric. And yeah, they sold, I would say within a day or two. I listed at 45. Again, someone liked them, and so Posture VA sent them out a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, and so my earnings were $29, and my net profit was $27 on these pajamas. I'm ecstatic about that. If you guys are not using a virtual assistant, you definitely should be. It brings in so many sales for me right now while I'm filming and chatting and shipping. I'm sure my Posture VA is sending out offers for me and keeping things moving in my closet. If you want to try it out, I do have a discount code. It's McKenzie20 for Posture VA. I think you will see that it is very worth it. I don't know honestly how I would run my business without a virtual assistant at this point. Okay, next up, this was a very exciting sale. It's all Lululemon. It's a three item bundle and it was a full price sale. It sold while I was sleeping, which we love. I woke up to a, a full price three piece bundle sale. So first off is this tank. It's a racerback tank and then the back half is like mostly mesh, which I thought was a nice design. Keeps you very cool while working out. And then we have two sports bras. This is just like a space gray with a strappy back. And this one is kind of like a crop top sports bra hybrid kind of thing. You could definitely wear this with like high rise leggings. Uh, the two sports bras I purchased in a clothing lot from a friend. I paid around $10 for each, which was kind of a lot, but there were some really substantial pieces in the lot that made up for the cost of everything. Uh, and then the tank I did pay $2.25 for. So when the three were added together, the bundle price came out to $84.15. That does reflect my automatic 15% off discount of three items or more. So she did get the bundle discount. My earnings ended up being $67.32. My cost of goods were around $21 for everything. And so my net profit came out to $46.32. Very happy with that. Again, the sports bras probably took me five minutes to list both of them. I just uh, take a quick little flat lay on the floor, flip them around, and yeah, very quick and easy. Okay, next we have a blazer. This was also exciting because I found this on 50 Cent Day at the Family Throw Center outlet. It's just Coldwater Creek, but it was a size uh, 18. It was 100% linen, a really nice spring periwinkle kind of color, and it is like brand new. The pockets are still sewn shut. So for 50 cents, I was not going to say no to this. And I listed at 35. Within maybe like a week or two, I got a $25 offer, which I went ahead and took. And my net profit ended up being around $19.50. So we love that. I am not afraid to buy Coldwater Creek or, you know, mall brands if they have a lot going for them especially if they're uh, in season and like new condition. That's a great little recipe for success in my book. I'm just going to pop this into my 1092 box. This is the box that I use for a little bit larger of pieces or small bundles. 
Um, I do have a list of all of the shipping supplies that I order in the description of this video if you're curious about any of that. Okay, another three-piece bundle, two pairs of shoes. First pair is a tried and true bread and butter little Sam Edelman leather flat. I have sold so many pairs of these. They don't sell for a lot, but they do always sell. People know them, they love them. Um, and I think a lot of people turn to the secondhand market to replace shoes like this. Second pair of shoes are Eileen Fisher. Really nice peep toe shoe here. It's like a sandal booty. Some people call them a shooty, if you will. I don't know if I personally love calling them that, but it kind of fits it. So, two pairs of shoes, and then we have one top, made well. This is from their, oh, it's not. I thought it was from their texture and thread line because it definitely has some texture to it, but it's just their house line. Very cute, kind of nubby knit, boxy pullover top. Uh, so, you know what? I think I'm going to use a big box for this bundle, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this box up really quick. Okay, so I'm going to add the first pair of shoes, second pair, and then add the top on top, and then add one more piece of paper, throw on a thank you sticker, and then seal it up. Okay, so the bundle price ended up coming out to $93, and I was offered $79, which I went ahead and accepted. I thought that was pretty fair. That made my earnings $63.20. I paid $6.75 for everything, and so my net profit was $56.45 on that bundle. Okay, moving on. Another exciting sale. This was very recently listed. Again, just showed this in a bins haul. It's a silk cashmere blend scarf from Lily Pulitzer. I didn't do the best job folding that, but that's okay. Yeah, silk and cashmere blend scarf. It's brand new. It still has the little string from where the tag was attached. And I listed this for 40, mainly because it was such good quality materials. Uh, I listed at 40 and within an hour or so of being listed, I received a $34 offer, which I thought was great. That made my earnings $27.20 and my net profit around $26.20. I picked this up, like I said, from the bins. It's so lightweight. At most, I paid a dollar for it. Probably more like 50 to 75 cents. Another accessory that I just plucked out of a bin, this leather belt, which also sold within the hour of being listed. It only had one tag to it that said uh, that said 100% Italian leather size large which was honestly all the information that I needed for this that made my job super easy I didn't even really have to measure even though it is a specific size it does have some room for uh, you know you can adjust it a little bit this was a full price sale at $35. So my net profit was right around $27 on this belt. Honestly, do not skip over accessories. Those are some of my fastest, most hassle-free sales. You just snap a couple pictures. Uh, you know, you don't find you don't have to find stock photos or a whole big description on them. You just type out what you know and list them. Okay, now we have a nine item bundle. So I'm going to, once again, put together another large box number seven. 
Okay, so I'm just going to again line the bottom of this box with a piece of paper. I just mentioned to you guys about uploading shorter videos and that's funny because this is probably going to be an hour long video, but I can't really help that. Okay, so nine items. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the sale on my phone so that I have a visual of everything. I think that's a good idea so that nothing gets left out. Okay, our first piece is Free People. It's a mixed media top. Very cute. We do have a lot of free people in this sale. So I'm just going to go ahead and mention if the piece is not free people so that I'm not super redundant. So we have this green top with a cutout in back and elastic at the shoulders. I was so happy to move a lot of these more basic tops out because they do have the tendency to kind of sit and I do pick them up specifically because I like for people to bundle them. So this was like a perfect sale. Little tank top, strappy tank top with eyelet uh, straps or eyelet details. Then we have this knit sweater top, very kind of 70s style. Could wear this like off shoulder or one shoulder. Then we have this little new tags tissue turtleneck top in a nice, uh, it's kind of a salmon color, but the tag says cherry blossom, so we'll go with that. And then lastly, for free people stuff, is this cotton tank that has a cutout in back. It also has a built-in belt, which is very interesting. Okay, so now we have three other brand pieces. This Alpenrock Henley, which I again just listed, a definite bolo brand for you guys. Uh, this was a size four, which is excellent. Then we have this little sundry graphic t-shirt that says C'est la vie. Really cute kind of lightweight slub cotton. I got this from the bins. It's so lightweight. Again, probably like 75 cents I paid for that. And lastly are these Spanx. New tags leggings, also from the bins, also very fast sale. So let me just look over our list. Yes, everything's in there. Okay, so now I will once again take a piece of paper, put it on top. I just have everything neatly folded right now. Add my thank you sticker, seal it up. And our very last step for this sale. I am going to weigh it just because Poshmark is kind of cracking down on your sales being under or five pounds and under. Okay, perfect. We are at four pounds, four pounds. So that's excellent. I do not have to upgrade the shipping label on this. It would not have been the end of the world. If I had to, it would have been probably like another three or four dollars. Um, so when everything was added together, the bundle price came out to $324 and I was offered $275, which I was super happy with. Like I said, I was beyond thrilled to move out a lot of these uh, less substantial kind of tank tops and shirts from free people um, because they are, I do pick them up for this purpose, for them to be bundled. So yeah, my earnings came out to $220. I paid right around $16.50 for everything in this box. And so my net profit was $203.50. So I love that. I hope she loves everything. That's a really fun collection of items, great for 
spring, summer, some fun little festivals and whatnot. Now we have a bag from Madewell. This was again, something I just showed in my bins haul. I did mention that it was very scuffed up. I have polished it a bit since then, if you can notice a difference. Um, and it cleaned up okay. It still does have, you know, obvious wear and some scratching, but no major flaws. And so that was why I did get it. So that's why I picked it up. Um, I just listed at 35 because of all the wear. And I got probably, I would say six or seven offers for around like 15 to $25. And I kept countering to 30 because I wanted $30, but everyone kept declining or just countering back lower. And so finally, when I got my first offer above $25, which was 26, I went ahead and just accepted that. That made my earnings $20.80 and my net profit $18.80. So, you know, I rescued a bag from the landfill. It's going to get more use. And I mean, it's still a great quality bag. It's made well. It retailed for around a couple hundred dollars. And I think it can be revived maybe a little bit more than what I did. I didn't really spend too long on it. So, yeah, all in all, I think that was a win-win. Okay, last couple sales here. We have more free people. This is a halter style wrap dress with a fully open back. And I think this was a little bit higher quality of free people piece. I say that because it was made in New York City, which I really don't see too often with free people pieces. Uh, so I did list it a little bit higher at $48 and the comps were pretty good. I'd say maybe a couple days to less than a week, I got an offer of 30, which I did counter to 34 and that was accepted. So my earnings were $27.20 and my net profit was right around $25 for this dress. Okay, and our very last, oh wait, well wait, no. <laughs> our second to last sale for today is this Ula Popkin 100% linen cardigan kind of outerwear shapeless blazer almost piece. I love this. It feels like such high quality. The linen is so thick and nice. Uh, it's a plus size piece. The cobalt blue color is so pretty, very kind of eye catching, but not super in your face. And then I think the contrasting tan interior is such a nice color combination. So I listed this at $55 just because it, it honestly just feels so luxurious to me. It really looks like a high quality piece. And I did do some research on this brand. I wasn't really sure what price point it retailed for. And it does retail for a lot. Ula Popkin. I want to say I was seeing stuff at like 150. I think this was probably around 150, maybe even a couple hundred dollars originally. I might switch this. I think it's okay though. I was going to say I might switch it to a box, but there's definitely some extra room in there. Okay, and our very last sale, did I say? Oh, okay, so yeah, this was exciting. I listed at 55 and I got an offer of 49. 
super fair. I accepted my earnings were $39 and 20 cents and my net profit was 37 on that, which we love. I am going to, to keep my eye out for that brand. Okay. Now for our very last sale, we have this pair of fry suede gray booties, just a closet staple here. Very neutral color. I'm going to wrap these separately and then throw them in a 1095 box. So this is for my larger bundles or larger pieces. This is 1095. And then the box I used earlier is the 1092 for just a little bit smaller bundles or items. Again, I do have a list of all the shipping supplies that I order free from USPS. It's delivered straight to my door um, and it's super easy. Okay, so I listed these booties at $65 and I would say within maybe like two, two or three months, I got a $45 offer, which was great. My net profit came out to $34 on these booties. Okay, so that is absolutely everything that I had to ship out today. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this journey. It makes it go so much faster, I feel like, when I'm chatting. So, yeah, I hope it was enjoyable for you guys as well. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.